Yeah. So this one's the plus. It makes sense because it's on the plus side. Be there. Right. So let's get this thing back. thing back right now this minus piece here we need to solder it to ground now anything metal here should be ground so we don't need to think too much in order to get ground I think what I'll do I think I'll connect it to that there that micro USB jack so zoom in and I don't know if that's clean or dirty I'll just put a drop on there And uh, let's put a bit of solder on and see what happens. That's good. A bit on there. And ground the ground side. Solder on there. And now we'll just solder these two together. They will. Okay, that looks good to me. And now the plus. So the plus. Right, now hang on a minute. There's also another thing we need to do, and that's of course put a switch on it. So, I need to go and get a switch. If I don't put a switch on, of course, it'll just be permanently powered, which is not ideal. What sort of switch do I want? Uh, this, maybe, or this. Let's go for the more heavy-duty one. I'll go for this one. Actually, I'm going to go for the toggle switch. So, I need to find out exactly what's what here so I'll just get my room meter let's figure out what's what's going on here now are all these joined together or what not that one let's try this one try this way okay seems to work like that so okay so if I just try these, these two points here, try that point there and that point there. Okay. Now we're almost done. You can let go now. We're almost done. Let's zoom out again. Now the end of this needs to go on a plus point, a 5 volt point. Now I found out before where that point would be, let me just tin this thing first. I found out where that would be, I can smell burning, what's that smell? I don't know. Right, so the 5 point thing would be there. So this is going to be a little bit difficult. All right. So first of all, first of all, I'll zoom in. I have to zoom in a lot more than that, I imagine. I'll probably do. Right. I don't want this to go wrong. This is the most complicated bit, I'd say. First thing I'm going to do is add some more uh, solder. So let's try this out. Oh, it's not sticking. And I've just got some stuck on the micro USB port. Let's try again. Let's try again. Heat it up. Put some on. That's better, right. Got a big blob of solder on there. That'll make it easier for soldering this up. Now, <coughs> we need to, I think I'll go this way. That's been tinned, yep. That's too much on there though. Let me just snip some of that off. Okay, now, I hope this will work. Uh, 
there we go. Now, <coughs> so what have we got here now? We've got a 5 volt injection point, if you like. I don't know if it's called an injection point, but where 5 volt comes in, we've also got a secondary 5 volt incoming thing, and that's through through this thing here. Let me zoom out. And that steps up from the cell. Now the other thing is, here there's a, another micro USB. Now this micro USB actually charges the cell and provides 5 volts. So we can't really go wrong here. So instead of this jack here, I'm going to use this one. Right, so first thing we need to do really is to test it out and make sure it actually works. Um, and there's an easy way to do this really. Uh, I could just turn it on, see if a light comes on there, but that would be boring. So I'm going to put these in place. Um, now I can't remember which one's which. Um, so now if this thing works we'll get the same as before. You know where it did that buzzing thing and it moved up and down left and right? Let's see. Well the red LEDs come on so that's a good sign. Let me just zoom out a bit more now. In a minute this should start moving around hopefully. Let's see. <coughs> So, it's working. Now this is completely wireless now. <coughs> One of the downsides is that I haven't got a clue if that cell is any good because I haven't used my capacity jacker on it, so I just don't know. Uh, however, if it's no good, you can just unsolder it and put another one on. So now if I was to plug in 5 volts, I wouldn't plug it into there, I'd plug it into this, and this would then uh, charge the cell back up and power that at the same time. So this is mission complete. Um, first thing is this Dremel thing. I'll, uh, <coughs> this can go here somewhere, and I'll just drill it in place. Now I'm not actually too bothered about the position of it. I don't really care, so I'm just going to put it anywhere. Here. That looks good enough to me. We'll just turn this off and try it. So I'm thinking it could go there. All right, I um, I eventually drilled the holes. So I drilled a circular hole there because I couldn't be bothered cutting a square, so that's done. Then here I drilled a hole enough to get this um, little um, PCB assembly thing through. So I'm going to glue them in now. I've got a hot glue gun, and I'm just going to glue them in. To start with, this um. <coughs> This cell, I don't know exactly where it can go, I assume probably there. Let's see. Will it go down there? Uh, it's certainly struggling. Oh no, there you go. Let's take it off there, right. So I can't remember where I said now, it was there somewhere, wasn't it? So. <coughs> Squirt some glue down there. Do. Press that in. Hopefully we'll be okay there. It's very close to one of those screw holes, but um, <coughs> we'll see. As for this bit now, this um, <coughs> button. So I can do here a bit there. Not held in yet. Around the sides. Could do some around the back as well. <coughs> so first of all, I need some down here, like that. Then I guess we'll need some here, and here, and here, and here. Let's give that a go. And then we'll have some at the top. And hopefully that will hold. I'll pull this wire out in a minute as well. <coughs> yeah, hopefully it will hold. So the next thing to do is to screw in the... It's got it pretty well. Right, let's see, is this going to work? 
get that wire out of the way. Well, it's certainly clipped on, so that's a good sign. Looks like it's going to work. Let's screw it down. Okay, right. So let's see if it will work. Um, so we've got the uh, charging thing there. Let me see if I can push this in. Now it might rip out the other end. I don't know. We'll see. Give it a go. Because you can't push too much. Um, I don't really know if that's gone in or not. And there it is. So the question is now, does it actually work? Well, we'll soon find out. Just one second. Okay, and um, I've now got the viewer for the camera. I've dumped the camera outside, and um, it actually works. Look, and you can even pan and scan and stuff. I know the quality is not amazing, but um, it works. It works. It's completely wireless. So I think I'm going to go and just walk around. And um, yeah, and just have a play about. So I'm going to walk around now and let's see what happens, okay? So yeah, um, <laughs> wow, I'm actually very impressed, it's very cool. So basically I've got a, a wireless camera which is not wireless and made it wireless. Apparently you can even have sound as well, um, listen to live audio, I, I imagine it's not very good but let's try it. Yeah, it's very poor, but whatever. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of the project. So I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly found it to be very cool. Um, so there we go. Thanks for watching. Bye.